James Ellison was an American film actor, born James Ellison Smith in Guthrie Center, Iowa, son of Edward James Smith and Honor Mary Ellis. Ellison appeared in nearly 70 films between 1932 and 1962. Biography Ellison worked for a time in a film laboratory and while there was offered a screen test, he developed it himself and when he saw it, decided it was not satisfactory so he would not show it to the director, but he saw it anyway and Ellison got a contract. Despite his rugged good looks and height of 6 feet 3 inches, Ellison's limited range and somewhat wooden screen presence kept him from the first ranks of stardom. He spent much of his career in westerns, including a stint in the mid-30s as the sidekick of Hopalong Cassidy in Paramount's successful series. In 1938, he played a charming, romantic character opposite 26-year-old Lucille Ball in the RKO Pictures comedy, Next Time I Marry a film in which Ball had her first top-billed screen credit. Before that, in 1936, he played his highest-profile role as Buffalo Bill in Cecil B. Demolez the Plainsman, which also starred Gary Cooper and John Arthur. Despite that film's success, Ellison spent most of the remainder of his career shuttling between cowboy pictures and more varied roles primarily in B-movies with titles like Mr. District Attorney in the Carter Case and The Undying Monster. He had a supporting role in 1941's Charlie's Aunt and played the romantic lead in 1943's The Gang's All Here, a 20th century Fox musical in which he seemed somewhat lost among the vivid antics of Carmen Miranda, Charlotte Greenwood, and Edward Everett Horton. He also co-starred with Tom Conway and Francis D. in Val Luton's production of I Walked With a Zombie, directed by Jacques Tourneur. Ellison landed another romantic lead role as Jerry Gibson in the musical film Lady, Let's Dance which starred ice skating sensation Belitta. In the early 1950s, Ellison moved from acting to real estate. Joining fellow veteran Jackie Coogan, Ellison returned to the screen only once to play Axel Longhorn Gates in a picture called When the Girls Take Over. Selected Filmography Hotel for Women That Other Woman Death James Ellison died at age 83 in Montecito, California after suffering a broken neck as the result of a fall.